happy Tuesday. I am Kim Kesty, Creative Director here at Fun Stampers Journey, and I'm here for another episode of T3. And you all know what T3 is, right? It's on my little letter board right over my shoulder there. It's tools, tips, and techniques. And this is a new time we're broadcasting. We tried it last week, broadcasting a little bit later on our live programming, uh, which is 4 p.m. here in Arizona. Um, and we got some good feedback. So I think we're gonna try it at this time frame for a few more weeks, see what we, you know, hear from you all. And if you like this time frame, just give us a shout out. Uh, and again, welcome if you are watching us live on Facebook or on YouTube, um, we appreciate you, of course, as always. And if you're watching the replay later on, then that's good too, because we love that. Um, and think about sharing the video too, if you, as you go through, see some fun tips and techniques that you wanna share with your crafty friends. That's always helpful to us too. So today I'm talking about some fun, um, I guess it's kind of more of a tip that I'm gonna start off with. I do have an organizational tip, but um, I did wanna kind of walk you through one of the things that's kind of unique about Fun Stamper's journey, and that's that we have what we call collections. And collections are just simply a grouping of products that all work together. They all mix and match so beautifully, and they're so fun. So I just wanted to quickly walk you through one of our collections, because that's what I'm gonna be using today. And uh, again, throw that organizational tip in there and then we're gonna do some fun things with some inks. So I'm looking forward to that. So take a look at our Fun Stamper Journey catalog. Uh, this is my copy that's been bombing around everywhere. I even had it spiral bound. Um, but this is our uh, catalog and it's amazing. It's huge, it's got so many fun things. But right in the beginning, we show off our collections and our collections again, are things that we've grouped together that really work well together. Um, product wise. So our first collection here is the good life. I'm gonna have to play with that with you guys another time and One of our other fun collections. I'm gonna kind of skip back here is called RSVP So you can see that we've just put stamps and embossing folders and whatever happens to go with that collection together But today the collection I really want to focus on and share with you is called colorful journey So super fun so you can see where I'm coming out with the inky fun, right? I can't wait to play um, but again, Colorful Journey is all about arts, and it's all about creating, and it's all about just trying different things. I absolutely love this collection. In fact, we're going to be featuring a lot of this collection next week on our blog at funstempersjourney.com. So stay tuned. This is kind of your sneak peek. Do you guys like that, that we have sneak peeks? This is one of the stamp sets I'm going to be using an awful lot. Of course, our catalog has amazing projects and um, lots of inspiration in it. Here's the pattern paper. I'm gonna show that to you live in just a minute. This is one of our smaller stamp sets. Those of you who are newer to Fun Stamper's Journey uh, may not know that we have small stamp sets. They're called AT or ATS stamp sets. And they're just about the size of an artist trading card. Here's this stamp set in real life. So you can see that it's just you know much smaller than a standard stamp set. So these are kind of fun to collect. They're a great price point. Um, great for you to pick up and add to your collection. So that's the end of Colorful Journey. Just wanted to point out in the catalog if you hadn't had you know, much experience checking that out, that you will definitely want to peek at all of our collections. But here's our Colorful Journey prints. And every one of our collections has its own specific pattern paper pack. And that's really the basis to start off any collection. It's just fun to have all your colors grouped together. And it really gives you a starting point for creating. So this particular pattern pack, I'll just show you real quick, has six different pattern papers that are very colorful, as the name implies, Colorful Journey. I'm gonna show this blue one next, and then this one on top. I'm gonna be using this for inspiration for one of my projects today. But what's also fun about this collection is you get another whole set of prints, which I only have singles here, but the backside is all black and white. So love that side B has just got all these fun black and white prints. Some great polka dots, some amazing little dots, and some little triangles. So colorful on one side, black and white on the other. So, so, so fun for creating. I was also doing some organization this week, so I wanted to share that. I'm gonna leave this guy on top. Um, I wanted to share that. On our website at funstamperjourney.com, we have a little uh, I guess it's a listing, it's a category way, way, way at the bottom of our webpage, and it's called printables. So if you head over there, if you're ever kind of running through our website and investigating different things, this particular category, category is way at the bottom, and it's called printables. And it's really fun to go in there and check out things because we have great things like um, calendar printables that fit some of our 
uh, 3D items that we have in our catalog. So those are free for you to print out. Um, there's, um, gosh, a lot of different things. I'm just trying to think off the top of my head what all, what all is in there. But one of the things we do have in there is we have printables that are color coordinated with all of our paper packs. So this particular paper pack has a printable that's going to tell you every cardstock color that matches this pattern paper. Is that cool or what? So definitely check that out. Um, that sheet is available all the time and again it's free to download. But what I did was something fun and this is my tip for the day for organizing. I'm kind of all into swatch books lately. You guys want to check out my new swatch book? So this is a swatch book that I've created with all of our cardstock colors. So what I did was I took our steel rule die, which happens to be this guy, which doesn't look like too much when you just see it, but it is called our tag set die. All right, we're always getting, getting a nice zoom in there. So this is a steel rule die, and you can see that's thicker than you know your traditional thin metal die. So this is perfect for cutting multiple layers of paper or cutting all kinds of different um, mediums. You can cut chipboard and you can cut thin wood and you can cut metal and so many different things. But this little guy was fun and I created actually several of these. But you can cut multiple layers of cardstock. So I did all of our tags, one for each of our wonderful yummy colors, as you can see as we go through. And this makes it really fun for me to be able to match my pattern paper. If I didn't have that printable I was just talking about handy, I know that I could pull in, for example, this pattern paper and I've got some of my tags loose here, and I can pull out Citrus Cooler, for example. Uh, pool Play is not in this particular one, but Pool Play would be like in this pattern paper. So you can see the Pool Play there. So then I know that I've got Watermelon Fusion in here, and I know that I've got Summer Days. There's blue in the other pack. I know that I've got some Rich Coral, some Whipped Cream, and some Black. So right away, this, this is really helpful for me when I start creating. I know that any of these cardstock colors are going to work beautifully with this pattern paper or any pattern paper that I'm going to work with. Now these little labels that we have right here, um, I had the fun idea and I just thought of it today as I was kind of revisiting my swatch book here, that we should have these for printables for you guys. Do you think that's a good idea? I totally do. So um, I went ahead and had, had Gabby, our graphic designer, create this printable with all the little names of all of our cardstock colors. And we're going to load that up on the website. It might not be up till tomorrow morning. It might be up later tonight. But watch for that. So when you're checking out that printable section, you can make your own little fun swatch book because you know you want to because you're so organized, right? <laughs> so on to creating. Now I'm going to use this one for inspiration. And I'm going to bring one of the really fun stamp sets in Color for Journey called Different Strokes. Because isn't that fun? It's absolutely different strokes. So artsy and fun and inspiring to me. So then I grab some of those same ink colors of the swatches that I just showed you. Remember all the fun bright colors. Watermelon, Rich Coral, Citrus, Summer Days. And I have some black there I'm going to use for my sentiment later. But this stamp set I have a lot of my little inky splotches already mounted on blocks. I'm going to pull some different ones out here. And I've got some panels of whipped cream cardstock, so I'll grab one of those. And then I also grabbed a little piece of our fusion sponge. You've seen me use this on some different T3s or maybe during Tri-Day Friday sometime. Um, this is a great sponge. It's got a great density and it's perfect for working with our inks. So I'm going to grab watermelon fusion. And my very first layer that I want to create Again, remember, I'm kind of using this guy for inspiration. It's some really fun swatches of watermelon fusion. So I'm just going to go directly from my ink pad, and I'm just going to start laying down some ink. And this is really fun because you can see the, the watermelon fusion is already quite bright, but it's so fun to kind of layer it in and have some lighter areas, some darker areas. This is where it gets inky. Inky and fun, that's what I say. So in order to kind of please my designer eye, I want to have three areas that have this watermelon ink. So I'm just kind of picking the side, the top, and then the opposite side of the card. And I'm just having fun adding that watermelon ink. Because I did cut this sponge, this normally is a full circle. Um, it's really easy for me to hold. It still has that really nice rounded edge. So I'm not going to get any hard edges on my ink blending. Does that make sense? I think so. 
I can come back and add a little bit deeper watermelon in here if I want. Again, kind of keep playing and adding and having fun until it looks like you are happy with it. I'm feeling pretty good about that. I'm going to keep that handy because I'm probably going to do some stamping with the watermelon again later. But I've got this nice base right here with just some watermelon that's just kind of blended all in. And then I think I'm going to come back with... Oh gosh, it's, there's really no right or wrong. You can come back with any of your ink colors and just start stamping out these fun brush strokes. So this particular one first, I flip that over kind of fast. I'm using Citrus Cooler. I'm just going to come in and add some really fun layers of color. Now you can see when I add the Citrus Cooler that where it hits the watermelon, it kind of gives this really nice blended fade and I love that. You can also pick some areas that are more white. Maybe a little bit down there. Yeah, I think that's pretty good for now. Again, because it's layering, I can just come back later and add more and more layers if I want. Let's see, I think I'll grab a little splotchy. This looks like an ink splotch. And this is Summer Days. So you can see when I start adding the Summer Days that it really starts adding that fun pop of color. When I created my original sample earlier, I was kind of looking at it going, oh, it's almost starting to look like a little sunset or something. And that really wasn't my intention originally, but hey, I'll take it. I think that's a fun way to go. So again, just kind of layering. You can even stamp those splotches on top of each other. Again, no right or wrong. I'm going to come up with something a little darker. This is the rich coral. So this is kind of our reddish orange. I thought I wanted a few more vivid kind of stripes coming in here. So maybe I'll do one there. And again, I can come in and go over it again. And I love how they're mixing with the citrus cooler. Maybe the end of one there. Super fun. Now, let's see. I might, oh, I'm going to come back with that watermelon. That's what I was going to do. I've got this fun splotch that kind of has an open area in the middle. So I thought that would be fun to come and highlight some of my other circles. So don't um, forget about adding some of your fun ink blotches in the same color that we did the blending in. That kind of ties your pattern and your all of your fun layers together. Okay, ooh, I kind of like it. You guys like where it's going? Fun, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna take this little smaller blotch right here. So this is just a really small inky one and I'm gonna probably come back with some citrus cooler. I may also grab a little summer days, but these small blotches are fun to just kind of work in, kind of where your other ink pieces are mixing and matching and this helps blend them in a little bit more too. And you can kind of go crazy with this one because it's smaller. It's not going to make as big of an impact. All right. So really what I've done, the last thing that I want to show you real quick is the finishing touch. But really, what I've really done is I've just taken inspiration from this pattern paper, a lot of the similar colors. You can see that it's got kind of the watermelon blended back there, the yellows, the oranges, and just created this fun layered look. Again, no right or wrong, just have a blast creating your own background. But the thing that I thought really would make this pop is adding a little bit of the sprinkle of black on top. So I bet those of you who are familiar with our products know what's coming next. You better believe it. It's one of our silk products, and this particular one is black licorice. So black licorice sil silk, I think, black when you add to anything that's super colorful, makes every other color just pop all that much more. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some of our black silk to this guy. And it does have a little bit of metallic in the bottom, so when you're using the silks, you always wanna gently shake them or kind of swirl them in your hand. And I think you guys will like what this adds. So you just do a little flicking motion with the silk and one thing you can also do to add even the heavier blotches is instead of flicking it, I can hold this cap straight up and down so you can kind of see um, the video angle, I think. 
and then I can really tap a little bit harder. Oh yeah, Roy's like, I got it, I got it. And this can keep, leave a little bit bigger splotch. Oops, it got a little dry there. So see how much black that laid on when I have the motion where it's dripping straight down. So you can see those areas where it did the, the darker, even bolder black splotches. And I love it. See how the black just really makes everything else in contrast be all the more poppy and fantastic and fun. Okay, so love, love, love that panel. Let me go ahead and show you the finished card I did. And I actually did a little spin off this card too. So I will set that over here. And the finishing part of it really is super simple. I stamped my sentiment, which I will grab that stamp set real quick. ColourPop is one of the sentiment sets that comes in the Colorful Journey. And it's just got some great sentiments. Four nice big chunky sentiments on this set. So I used the color outside the lines. I thought that would be super fun to make for a crafty friend of mine. And I just embossed that on vellum with black powder. So I love how it, it's just got that fun look, but it's not just a plain solid stamp, right? It's got a little shine to it. Oh, there we go. Yep, we caught the shine. So that is the black embossing powder that makes it that nice shiny look. Love it. So super simple finish to the card because really you don't want to take away from your masterpiece that you just created, right? That's what I say. Don't hide it. Okay, so what I did is I took the same color family then and then I created two additional cards. One of them, because I really wanted to use that pattern paper, um, is quite simple. Again, here's the pattern paper. I just cut it at an angle. I used one of the other sentiments from the ColourPop set. And then I just did a couple of the little inky stamps that I was using earlier. So kind of once I had them out, I was like, you know what, just do a few more, do a little panel. And this is simply stamped in black licorice ink. But kind of my idea was that I wanted to have three cards that I could put like as a little card set and make a little gift. And the last card, you guys are going to chuckle at this one. This one I just was dying to use this Escape the Ordinary stamp set. It is so fun. It's got such quirky little images on it. It's got the zebra, which is super fun to do in all different colors. The great umbrella. It's got the little bows. You can decorate the zebra, a balloon. Also great sentiments on it too. But because I was matching two cards I already made, I actually kept my last card super simple. You guys want to check it out? And I'll show you how I use the mini grading stamp set too. So here is card number three. And I just have to laugh a little bit because it's so simple. But really, sometimes that fun graphic card is all you need. I simply stamped the little zebra two times, one saying hello and one maybe saying goodbye. I'm not sure. It's just kind of fun and quirky. And then I used the little tiny hello from the mini greeting stamp set. And I love that hello. It's just the perfect size. And I did want to point out that this card is pretty funny. And Typical art rules will tell you never divide your card exactly down the middle, but I say, you know what? Colorful Journey is all about breaking the rules. Like, we don't even care if it's divided right down the middle. I think it looks perfectly fine, and I'm sure my recipient will not be bothered either. So again, there's my triple card set. I think it would be fun to maybe do one of our little card carriers to put them in, or simply stack them up, tie them in a little, little ribbon, gift them to one of my friends. So so much fun. So I hope that you have enjoyed this little trip down the lane of the colorful journey. And I know that you will have fun when you try any of these different tips and tricks and inky things. And definitely we are happy that we are part of the journey with you as you bring paper to life. We'll see you next week.